yeah hello there and welcome back let us continue over here and uh, today we are going to learn about the uh, sub route in the go route so in the previous lesson we have learned about creating a button navigation using a go router as well as the cell route so today we will be adding the sum of functionality to our particular route over here so if we go to this particular cell route and then we have currently a three route or the button navigation over here so let us add uh, some button over here and when we click on that button let us navigate to the another uh, screen so for that let's go to the uh, feature section over here and in this feature let's go and add a new feature so for that let me create a new folder and I'll call it as a product and inside this product, I will create a new folder, a presentation. And inside this presentation, let us add a UI folder. And inside this UI, I will have a widget folder. And let's add a new file on this UI. And let's call it as a product. Uh, let me call it as a detail.d.file so let's create a i guess a stateful widget over here and let's call it as a product detail page over here and s c r e n screen sorry s c r e e n screen so i guess that should be the one and let's re import this material package and also i will rename this one to make it as the CREN screen and let's set this one as the const over here const const and once we have that so what we will do is we will take some parameter from here so let's say final int and the uh, let's say we will take it as a product id from here and this will be of the uh, uh, required one and let's say this dot the id that should be fine and once we have that let's return from here the uh, scaffold and let's have a simple app bar and app bar let's have a app bar over here and app bar has the title and const of the uh, text and let's call it as a product detail and uh, then we will also have okay so let me arrange it this one correctly and uh, then we will set it and then i will have a center tile make it as a true and after that we will just close it over here and then we need to have a body over here and body i'll just give it something like a center and in the center i have a child of the uh, column and with this column i will have a children and i will just say something like uh, let's make as a text and let's call this as a product uh, the etl product detail and let's keep the dollar to like the widget dot the id over here so this is our product detail page and we need to navigate over here so how we can navigate is from our let's do it from the home screen and the home screen currently we have this and uh, we can just set the um, let's go over here and main axis alignment and the main axis alignment i'll just set it to center so I guess that will pull this one to the center over here and then we will have our uh, one button over here ELE we elevated uh, button so let's create an icon button I guess that should be fine and uh, let's me arrange this one properly first of all and uh, okay so on pressed what we can do is we want to navigate and uh, then uh, why this is giving me error is because of this const so i need to put it over here and the label each of the widget so icon and the 
iqns icons that let's say uh, we will give as a next plan or something let's give so uh const and then we will have a label of the widget too so const and the text of this is if your product detail or something so we got this and now if you rerun your application you should get a button over there and i can't see that particular button that's on the home screen so it is on the home screen but i'm not able to see that particular button over here let us try to change this uh, name like a home test let me see if i'm getting the correct screen over here no it's not the correct screen i guess so uh, let me go and check which is my actual screen over there so let's go to the uh dashboard okay so let's let's go to the router provider and let's go to the home screen so this is the actual one which is showing over here so uh if i go over here into the home screen and let us go to the uh, home screen over here oh so this is our actual screen over there so i guess that's not the one that we are putting over here home screen is this one but it is taking us to the another one so let's go to this one from where it is coming i'm not sure so let's go to the screen oh okay so this is coming from our screen and we have a home screen so let me delete this one and move it to the trash so oh, let's re-import all of this and that should be the one so let's import this one from the feature and that should be fine so let us try to rerun our application and yeah so now we got the correct one so finally we are in the correct screen so what we need to do now is when we click on this particular button we need to go to the another screen so let's go to the router and now we need to create a sub route over here so uh, this is currently a cell route which is a button navigation so inside here we will have a sub route so this is the home screen and now what we will do is we will go over here and then, then let's add the option for the routes so this way we can have a soft routes inside this particular home screen that will give us the stack of the navigation so from if i go from the home screen to the the sub route and this this will create a navigation stack for us and if you take a look currently we don't have any navigation stack so let us try to add this one so currently let's copy the whole thing from here and then just uh, paste it over here and that should be let's try to arrange it and let's close the core router here and uh, that should be fine so let me arrange this one properly i guess and uh, that should be inside here okay so let's let's rename this one so in the sub route we can have the uh forward slash and we need to give the path of this one so let's say uh product uh, detail or something and then for this one we need to go and create a new one so the name and let's go and create a new one and that will be of the uh, product pro product detail and let's call this one as a vrodu city product detail too so once we are done with that name route let's go back and call that one as a product detail over here and from here we'll go to the uh, product detail screen and we need to pass in the uh, parameter over here so what we can do is uh, currently we don't have any uh, from any product id so i'll just go and set it as a id and i'll just give some id of uh, let's say a 10 directly from here but later we will see how we can pass in 
the id in, as a route so what we will do is uh, let's go and uh, run this application and uh, let's go to the uh, product detail okay so we have one set up our navigation over here so from here let's go and add the go router uh, go router and then we can just off context and i can just go to the uh, push over here and push to the location that we have is the uh, product detail and uh, that should be fine so let us restart and uh, then let's go and uh, click on it okay it says that these um, cannot find the product detail page okay so it should be from the slash product detail because this is our the the main page over here so if we go this is the uh, parent route and uh, this is the uh, the child route so we need to go from here to the here so we need to put the this particular parent route over here if you were on the card you should have the card slash then product detail so let us restart this one one more time and let's go to the product detail and now we are on the product detail and then we see our product detail uh, screen and then we get some information so let's see what is that one okay so this is the one we are actually seeing it over here and then uh, what we will do now is uh, let's try to um, center out this one so uh, main axis alignment so uh, main axis alignment dot the uh, center and rerun this one and uh, that should be fine so we will see that in the center so we need to fix this particular and we need to pass in the correct id over here so uh, now if you see we get a bad stack over here because uh, we have that particular um, sub route we have set up over here on this particular route and uh, here you can also add in the um, the parent navigator key so uh, based on this one you can navigate whether you want to go on top of this uh, cell route or you want to go uh, create inside this particular cell route so if i say this one as the uh, cell navigator if i set it as a parent navigator key and set it to the cell navigator which means this is a cell route or the button navigation and when, if i restart the application and now you can see that it is still inside that particular um, it doesn't cover up the uh, bottom navigation or the cell route but if i give it as a root navigator and uh, let's go to this particular sub route and uh, when i navigate this one it should cover up all of this cell route and go to this particular route over here which is of the parent route or it should go to the route outside of the cell route so when i click on this you can see that the bottom navigation is covered up and we can't see that cell route so when you set it as a root navigator it will go on top of the cell route and cover up the cell route but if you set that particular sub route to the uh, cell route navigator by default is this one the, the, the cell route but if you want to go back to the um, on the top of the route stack then you have to set it as the uh, provide the root navigator key over here so that is the difference between that a particular by default it is always on the cell route cell which is on the cell route over here but sometimes you want to push your route to the on the top of this cell route at that time you can use that particular uh, root navigator key which will push that particular sub route on top of the cell route and uh, let us take the parameter over here so when we click on this particular button we need to take that particular parameter or we need to pass in the parameter over here so for that let's go on to this uh, sub route which is of the product detail and over here let's take the uh, parameter or the uh, from here i can just take in the id as a parameter because we just need the one id as a parameter over here and here what we can do is i can just take a final id and that is of equals to the state has the prompts 
so i can just take that particular prompts from here and that will be of our id that we have mentioned over here so this is the id parameter that we want to get in and i need to uh, close it over here and this is of the type of the string but we need to pass into the int so what we need to do is i guess i can just pass this one uh, and I, I need to pass this one particularly so currently i don't have option to pass in so let's make it as a nonable and set it to to the string id so which will give us the um, the non nullable of the version of that particular string id and then once we have that uh, let's go to this uh, string and, and then i can just pass it to the in dot the parts over here and pass in the id that i have over here so that should be the one and it may not be the uh, correct solution over here and uh, you need to check on that one so for me i guess that should be working because i'm not going to pass any nullable value over here but in case sometimes you may pass a null value then you have to again check that condition over here so let's go to the uh, home screen and here once we are navigating i need to pass in the uh, value of the uh, let's pass in the value of the uh, 100 or you can just get it from somewhere and then pass that particular value over here and let's try to restart the application and uh, let's go to the product detail and i guess it's still not showing the correct one so it's a product detail product detail screen so let me go over here and let me see what went wrong and uh, then i guess it should be the widget over here so this is the uh, inside I, it's need to be inside the curly brace so that was my mistake over there so let's go and rerun okay so now we get the 100 value over here so which means that we were able to go to the use the sub route as defined over here and we were also able to pass in the parameter uh, and the parameter is over here and this is not the perfect solution to check that particular parameter sometimes you may get it as a null value or something and after that we were able to navigate using the uh, parameter version pass in the route parameter and then we were able to get it on the detail screen so that's all for this lesson and hope you enjoyed it and learned something new over here and let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day